family whose daughter died at the hands of an undocumented immigrant who was drunk, apparently, in South Omaha, became a focal point of Donald Trump's campaign. Tonight, the parents of Sarah Root believe the right candidate won. Reporter Nick Starling spoke with Sarah Root's father tonight and has reaction. Nick. I caught up with Scott Root today to get his take on Trump's monumental win and what it means for his fight for justice. Scott Root is thrilled about new president-elect Donald Trump taking over the White House. I was excited and glad, you know, he's the only one who's uh, stood out for our family and uh, that's important to us and uh, hopefully some changes take place. Changes such as tightening immigration laws and securing national borders. They need to enforce the laws that are here in place. If the laws would have been enforced as far as uh, deportation, my daughter may be still here. In January, police say 21-year-old Sarah Root was killed by a suspected drunk driver. 19-year-old Eswan Mejia racing down 32nd and L, drunk when he hit her car, the night of her college graduation. Though arrested, Mejia bonded out of jail, nowhere to be found since. It sucks that my daughter had to die for this, but... My family's not going to be silent, and we're going to do what we can do to try to change something. The Roots, alongside Trump and area politicians, help create Sarah's Law to detain undocumented immigrants who break the law. You shouldn't have to have a law to uh, detain somebody that kills somebody or bodily injuries. It should be a common sense issue. With a Trump presidency, Root says the likelihood of federal Sarah's Law increases in hopefully finding justice by catching Mejia. To me, if you're a cockroach or a rat, your places to hide got a whole lot smaller. Now, Root was also campaigning to get Judge Jeffrey Marcuso ousted as the judge set a $50,000 bond. However, 57% voted to retain him. Root is disappointed, but he says the people spoke. He's also willing and able to go to Trump's inauguration if the family gets an invitation. Reporting live, Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News.